The Europa shapeshifting synth is one of the most advanced and sonically wide synths in Reason, and despite looking like it might be a little bit complicated, it actually isn't that difficult to get to grips with, even though it's really powerful. It has three powerful and flexible sound engines that have a unique combination of analog, wavetable, spectral, physical modeling, and FM synth techniques. As well as using presets, of course, you can also draw in your own waveforms and filter curves and design your own unique sounds. There are various different sections here. Along the top panel, of course, we have our preset loader, which is common to all Reasons modules. You can also get to your presets from the browser on the left here. On the left hand side, we have our three engines, and these can be switched on or off independently. Each one of these, as you can see, can use a different waveform and have different settings. Now that's not entirely unlike you might find in Thor, although that's a different kind of synth, it uses a similar kind of system. Each of the waveforms also has its own modifier, 1 and 2. We'll look at these in the next video. The signal is then passed on to the spectral filter section. Again, this can be different for each of the engines. There's also a unison mode here, which for each of the individual engines can add width and extra voices to the sound to make it wider. Moving down here, we have a mixer which allows you to mix the outputs of the three different engines, provided they're active, which they all are at the moment. You're also able to pan each of these signals within the main signal. You can choose to send one, two, or all three of the engines to the filter section here, and they're blended together before they're applied through this filter. You have various different filter types, as you can see, all behave differently. And again, you have your own settings here for the filter, which processes all three of the voices. There's an amp section for controlling attack, decay, sustain, and release. There's a voice chooser, so you can choose how many voices your synth patch is using, as well as a master volume control here. Moving down, you have a key mode section, and this allows you to use the synth in polyphonic or legato mode, or you can have it re-trigger every time you press a new key. The envelope section here is used for drawing in your own envelopes, which can then be used in the mod assignment section at the base to control different parameters of the synth. We'll see this in the next video, but for example, you can choose here my various different envelopes. You can see one, two, three, four in this list, and they correspond to one, two, three, and four here. And I could assign this envelope, envelope one, I just made some modifications to it. I could assign that to any of the many parameters inside the synth. As in some other Reason modules, you get quite a few slots here, and you also get things like the ability to set minimum and maximum values. Like the envelope section, there's an LFO section here. Three LFOs available. You can make settings for any of them, and they can be selected again here, one, two, and three from within the mod section to control different aspects of the synth. Last but not least, there is an effects section with a selection of onboard effects, reverb, delay, distortion, compression, phaser, and EQ, each one of which can be switched on or off, and each one has its own set of controls. If I press the tab key to spin the rack around, you can see it's actually fairly simple on the back. It's got a few more controls than some modules and a few less than some others. As usual, you can route CV in, gate and CV sequencer control for triggering, and also pitch bend and mod wheel CV for control from other devices. You can also route modulation in from other devices using CV ins, and the synth can also send CV out to control other devices.
Let's have a quick look at how to tweak sounds in Europa.